after my last tutorial I had a lot of requests to create another look using the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette so that's what I'm doing today. I am beginning by priming the eye area as always. I'm using the Smashbox one because it provides great coverage to the eye concealing any discoloration. Sometimes I use my fingers to apply the product but I'm using a brush today just because it gets the job done a little quicker. To set that base in place I'm taking the white chocolate shade and applying it all over the eyelid and up to the brow bone. Next I'm using the shade Champagne Truffle to highlight the brow bone. This product is fantastic as a face highlighter too and it's what I've got on my cheeks today. Before I start my crease work I'm mapping out my guideline as you've seen me do lots and lots of times so I won't harp on about it. My favourite shade to use as my transition colour is Salted Caramel. I apply this to the crease so that when I apply the darker shades later on they will blend out a little easier. This shade also gives a bit of warmth to the look and it's going to appear as a halo over our other shadows so it's going to make the look appear a bit more detailed. I adore this burgundy shade and it's what the look is based around. So I'm beginning by applying the eyeshadow to the eyelid. Now you could begin with a base, something like one of the Maybelline colour tattoos. That will give an intense look to the shadow. But if you don't have a cream eyeshadow like that, you can get the same sort of effect by applying this eyeshadow in layers, building up the intensity of the colour that way instead. Once I'm happy with the colour payoff, I'm then taking my blending brush and adding a little more of that cherry shade into the crease. I'm rocking my brush back and forth in the crease until I have no product left on my brush and then I'm pulling the shadow upwards and really smoking it out into that salted caramel shade. Now I'm taking the shade Amaretto and applying this halfway across the lid. I think this shade complements the cherry colour beautifully, it adds a lovely metallic pop to where it has been applied. You'll need to apply it though a couple of times to really get that effect but it's worth it when you do. As I've mentioned before, there's no black eyeshadow in this palette. I like to add depth to my makeup looks, so today I'm using the shade Corrupt from Makeup Geek. I've applied it to the outer third of the eye and now I'm going in with a blending brush to buff the shadow out. I'm keeping the black mainly to the outer edge of the eye, but I'm lightly softening it so that it fades nicely into that burgundy shade. I want to keep the eyes really smoky today, so I'm skipping eyeliner for this look. However, I am pressing some of that same black eyeshadow along the upper lash line because it will help the lashes that I'm about to apply appear a little more natural. For the lower lash line, I'm taking some of that cherry shade again and smoking it all the way along the lower lash line. And to give me that same gradient effect as above, I'm adding a little of the salted caramel shade beneath the cherry one. To finish off the look, I'm then adding some jet black liner to my waterline. And then that's it. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and found it helpful. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.